Whenever a place claims to have been operating continuously since 1929, it's probably at least worth checking out. I've lived in Atlanta for years and had never heard of this little joint in Cabbage Town called Little's Food Store until a few friends suggested it to me. The place is nestled along a narrow stretch of road in Cabbage Town on Atlanta's east side. It's a really nondescript location with some really weird stuff in the area. No shit, I'm pretty confident there's a dude buried right next to Little's as evidenced by this video. Anyways, Little's is part grocery store and part restaurant. As a result, there isn't a whole lot of seating, so expect to eat in your car after ordering your food. Their burgers are what I kept hearing about, so I decided to give the half pound classic a shot. I was hungry, give me a break, and I got some fries inside. The fries tasted fresh, albeit a bit salty for my taste, but you could definitely tell these puppies were cooked to order. The main event, however, the burger, was what I was really curious about. The best way to describe this burger is it tastes like what you'd grill outside on the 4th of July. It's got a nice smoky taste to it, and it is really, really thick. Seriously, there is enough meat on this thing to kill a man, and it has the grease to prove it. Speaking of things that could kill a man, be warned that Littles does not skimp on the onions. I'm a fan of onions myself, but there were so many onions in this thing that I wound up taking a few off just to spare the nasal passages of my coworkers when I got back from lunch. So, in the end, Littles is a cool little spot. Is it the best burger in Atlanta? Not by a long shot. But, the cook to order nature of the food and the old timey atmosphere definitely make it worth checking out one day, especially if you're jonesing for that 4th of July cookout flavor.